Hi, I'm Susan Cole and I'm here with Professor Yvonne Gillies, Chair of the British HIV Association. Yvonne, what do we know now about MPOX and HIV? For people with severe immunosuppression, there's a higher risk of requiring hospital admission, it's about 15% of those who are very immunosuppressed. And within that small group, there's a high mortality risk, about 30%. Now, a lot of people in the UK who are receiving HIV care will either have a CD4 count get greater than 300 and won't be having regular CD4 count tests because they don't need it, they're on good treatment. And for those with a lower count, they are being monitored very regularly. And what would you recommend for people with HIV who are concerned or at risk of MPOX? I think following this uh, data, I think what we need to recommend is vaccination of anyone who might be at risk of MPOX. And so we know from UK data where MPOX was occurring, it was in gay and bisexual men. So all gay and bisexual men are potentially at risk of MPOX if they're having sex. And if you're having sex and going to a sexual health clinic, you also should have an HIV test, really important. And also ask about vaccination. So the bottom line is, if you haven't had MPOX vaccination, get the vaccination, and particularly if you are living with HIV with a lower CD4 count. So contact your sexual health clinic and arrange an appointment to have vaccination. I also speak to Dr. Will Nutland from The Love Tank about vaccination. It's generally recommended to have a second vaccine. So at the moment, recommendations are for two vaccines, two doses. Dr. Matthew Page from University Hospitals, Birmingham, shares his thoughts. We know that sexual health clinics are offering it. People can go in. No one needs to know that they're going for the vaccine, but they can still receive it. I think it's really important that if there's something that can be done to reduce the chance of getting monkeypox significantly, then they should take it up. Thank you. For more information, visit AIDSMAP.com.